Thank you, Susan. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters. Here we go, Madam David. And especially to you, Shara. <laughs> <laughs> First, I will evaluate you according to your vocal variety, then I will have some general comments on your speech itself with the acronym SIM. Your speech title is Just a SIM Student. Okay. So, about vocal variety, I caught three stuff about your vocal variety. First is stress. You, you did stress on words that, that is important, like for example, so we need to work harder than them for, for the you know, local universities. So that's one thing I caught. Another one is good use of repetition, where you say, I'm big enough or good enough, something like that. So good use of repetition, because that creates a rhythm which is easy to follow and people like listening to it. And general comment is, you have a good pace, a lot better than last time when you used to ramble on and on and on and on. <laughs> without stopping, I find that your pace has improved a lot since your last speech. But I realize that, I mean, I, I still find that, you know, it's better if you can add in more pauses in between. Mm. Because if I listen to your whole speech, you just go on and on. Although with good pace, yes, but you could have paused a little while when you want the audience to think about your, your message, to think a little bit more, or, you know, to ponder on about the questions and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so that's the part on vocal variety. Then I'll start with the general comment on the speech as I am. First thing, start strong. Mm -hmm. When you started, I noticed the notes here, and you started apologizing for using the notes and you because you were taking down Keen's notes. The first rule of thumb is never apologize, no matter what happens. And because the starting is so important and you need to present yourself confidently. So you need to have a strong start. And having a notes here and apologizing for taking down notes and using kin, relating to Kin's speech. The whole, the whole introduction wasn't even about your speech. I find I could just scrape that whole thing off and just start with your speech. Okay. Next, I, interaction. I found very good that you know you use this chart and you ask the audience and you interact with the audience asking them questions. So my evaluator, how do you feel? Oh, so where do you think SIM should be placed in this chart? And it got very interesting response, like, you know, ahead of the local youth, behind, not even at the starting point, and which I find, you know, builds great rapport, and the audience love it. So that's one good use that everyone can learn, you know, interaction with the audience. And last but not least, M, be mindful of the time. <laughs> this whole speech is about just an uh, SIM student, and you mentioned about the, the whole purpose of this speech is to, you know, encourage people to make more use of SIM facilities and, you know, services. And guess what was the time when you mentioned about the career service, talks, bookshop, interview, resume writing, after the bell has ring. <laughs> Great! So after your whole speech was, you know, over time, then you started talking about how you could make more use of SIM facilities. So definitely that's a no-no, in a sense. Your, your introduction is good and well, but could shorten it and you know make the majority of mm. speech on it. How can make better use of that? For that, I should.